It wasn't easy, but I've managed to get my hands on one of the hottest golf products in the world right now. This, the Kirkland Signature Putter, the KS1. This is the first ever golf club Kirkland Signature I've made from Costco. I'm gonna unbox it, see what it's all about and take it out on the putting green to see if this putter is any good. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, this was not easy to get my hands on. At the moment, they're only on sale in a select amount of Costco stores in the US. Uh, but one of my Instagram followers managed to get hold of one for me and then ship it across. It's $140 when they're coming out. They're not available in the UK yet, but I imagine when they are, they're probably gonna be about 130 pounds roughly. Um, don't ask me how much it costs to get shipped over here because it costs an absolute fortune. <laughs> um, but hey, either way, we've managed to get hold of one. There's a lot of hype around this product because Kirkland Signature, certainly in the last few years, have kind of come out and started making decent golf balls. You might have seen my recent test on a Costco golf ball. And I said I might get my hands on one of these and I did. Um, now this is the first ever club they've made and it, is it a sign of things to come? Are they going to make irons? Are they going to make drivers? It's interesting they've started off with a putter first. Let's open it, let's find out what it's all about. Um, what's interesting is that first off it comes in a box. That is a bit of a, a downside, certainly if you're looking for a putter. I think for me a putter is a very personable, personal kind of experience picking a putter. And if it's in a box, you can't feel it, you can't get the weight of it. So that's, that's a big downside straight away. Um, but let's see what's inside it. It looks pretty pretty neat, the box. Um, it's interesting that already it's saying it's coming with a super stroke grip, which is a good grip. Uh, what I'm interested about is knowing who has made this putter for, for Costco, because at the moment, there's no signs that it, which manufacturer is making it for them. And I, I would guess there is a manufacturer making it for them. I don't know if they've made this completely in-house. Either way, let's open it up. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm the first person to open it because DHL, as it got shipped over here to the UK, have actually opened it up to check it. <laughs> so hopefully they've put it back in good order. Right, let's see what's inside this. So here we go, it's in this foam protector. And inside, this is what we find. The KS1 putter housed into this foam protection. There's a super stroke grip with the head cover. That's, a, that's just a sticker. I have heard about this. Yeah, the weight kit is sold separately. So you have to buy the weight kit separate, which might cost a little bit more, which is a shame. But then inside here, this is the putter. Kirkland signature, couple of weights at the bottom, spec milled, interesting, very classic. I need to take the wrapper off, that's better. Very classic answer, ping answer design, Scotty Cameron Newport kind of styling, um, big Kirkland signature stamp on the back there, which mm, is a little bit grotesque. It's not the classiest. Of, uh, of signings, but all in all, so far, first impressions, it looks very well made. The facing has a very interesting pattern. What is interesting on the pattern there is it doesn't look super consistent. This kind of big space and little spaces. I wonder that's part of the technology, whether on the toe and the heel, they've been thinned out a little bit more. But all in all, a very well-designed, good-looking putter. I'd say just the logo's a little bit bold. There's your weights at the bottom, which are the ones that you can change. It's got two grams, two 10 grams in it straight away. That's nice. It's got a nice weight to it. It feels quite nice. A maybe a tiny bit lighter than normal, a normal putter. This is interesting as well. It's got a little weight in the grip end. There's your super stroke grip mid slim i like that grip i like a slightly thicker handle on a putter it comes in 34.5 inches it says on the box and i believe at the moment it's only in right handed that feels nice it does it feels nice head cover check uh, a bit light a little bit kind of flimsy but bar that the detailing again is very nice good stitching here on the ks1 Kirkland signature, very well stitched. 
you know, it's better than I expected, not amazing. At the moment, first impressions, those weights to me look very Odyssey styling. If I was to take a guess of who've made this, I would think Odyssey. Because another thing, if you remember recently, I went to Costco and bought the Callaway Edge Clubs. Again, Callaway Edge, the box set, was obviously from Callaway, who own Odyssey. That again was limited only to Costco. So maybe this might be a similar trend. Either way, first impressions are quite good. Let's take it out on the golf course. Let's take it on the putting green and see how the KS1 putter actually performs. Oh, wow, that was windy out there. Okay, testing done. Kirkland Signature Putter. What did I think? Uh, first off, it's a good putter. It feels nice. It's got a good weight. It feels good off the face. It's like most putters in that style of putter. It's fairly forgiving off the toe and the heel. It's good. Like, it's good. It, it's better than I expected. Um, I also, while I was on the putting green, tested it with the Kirkland golf balls, the Kirkland Signature golf balls, the three-piece golf ball. Again, nothing to complain about. Good feel off the face, the relationship between putter and ball, bang on. Like it's, a, it's just a good putter. I also tested it against my 300 odd pound even roll putter. So a putter that's double the price of the Kirkland Signature. In fact, I've got them here both next to me. Um, again, I personally prefer the feel of this. I feel like the weighting's better. But again, Kirkland Signature did okay. Limitations, the Kirkland Signature comes in 34.5 inches of length. I don't believe that's adjustable. I don't like that length. For me, it's a little bit long. Um, the weight kit, I would have liked to have had the weight kit, just to be able to mess about with the weights. Um, because again, maybe on a windy day like today, I've struggled to get the consistency of the speed, but that might be down to me as well. I've not put it on a green for a while. Also a downside is it only currently comes in this particular style and not every golfer likes the classic blade style. It will be interesting to see if a KS2 comes out later down the line in the more mallet style. That is a little bit of a downside. It, it, all it leads me to come to the conclusion of is like the why. You know, why would you go out and buy that putter compared to a putter that you can go into a golf shop or a pro shop and actually feel and get the get the the feedback you want from a putter? It's so individual a putter. Picking it up in a shop, there's nothing better in my opinion because you can get the sensation of how it's going to feel, how it's going to roll, the weight of it. Buying a putter like that out of a box where you don't have any opportunity to get custom fit for it. You don't have any opportunity to, to feel it, even just on the on an artificial putting green in a pro shop. It then begs the question, well, why? Because there's probably better options out there, like a an Odyssey putter, which is like one of, I did one recently in a video where I've compared four different price points of putter from 15 pound up to 300 pound. And the Odyssey one, which is about 100 pound, was probably better than that in my opinion just felt a bit better off the face so the last point was that was the why what's the reason for case you're buying a kirkland signature putter i think for anything people are just going to buy it for the novelty because it's a bit different it's a bit new it's the first ever kirkland signature putter from costco and i think people will weirdly have it as a bit of a either a collector's item or something because again i'm not sure why you'd have that in your bag over a, re a resounding you know putter brand that you trust lastly i still have no massive indication of who this has been made by it's not been made by kirkland or costco if i was to hazard a guess i would possibly say it is from odyssey 
if that was from what all the puds I've ever tested, it has characteristics similar to Odyssey, but I might be wrong in that. That is the Kirkland signature putter from Costco. I am now going to get inside because or get home because it has suddenly become a sandstorm over here in the UK. Right, stay safe everyone. We'll see you soon. That was my full review of the Kirkland Signature KS1 putter.